before I start up this tutorial, I'm gonna say I do blabber a lot about stuff in this tutorial. There may be like little breaks where I uh, go off on a tangent or talk about something else. This is mostly an overview video of how to do it. It's a pretty simple thing, so if you just watch it once, you'll probably know you don't you don't have to follow any steps. So yeah. Have fun, watch the video, and see you at the end. This is a continuation of my previous video, which covered creating these tracks. Now we're going to be talking about putting the tank body, the tank turret, and the tank gun on the tank itself. Um, I know people voted for audio, and I'm going to do that as well, don't worry. But I'm doing the tank conversion because there may be people who don't know how to do it, and yeah. It's, it's something pretty straightforward in my opinion, so I might as well just throw it out of the way right now. So, so to catch you guys up what we did in our tutorial, we created the wheels, we aligned them, all that thingy and magic shit. Um, mind that this is a single crew, but you still have to have the gunner seat, so something to keep in mind. Minor editor side note, I actually don't know if you need to have the gunner seat, but I'm keeping it on and I'm too lazy to test, so... <laughs> Yeah. Um, what you can do though is if you go here, disable, you can disable the seat, you can make it transparent, you can make it small, anything to help you. Um, so you don't actually sit in it. And it's not like anything's going to happen if you sit in it. But yeah, let's continue. Um, so let's cover a few things. In my conversion chassis, it comes with a turret mounted ammo rack. Uh, so of course if this is hit, the turret goes kabloom. So this might work best for like a Soviet style tank like I have right now. Um, but right now there's nothing like a... What is it called? A blow-up panel. There's nothing like a blow-up panel in Fury yet. So first thing I'm going to delete my decorative tracks. These were 3D modeled by me in Blender. So of course these don't actually operate. Um, so as you see, it's just models. Uh, so I can just delete these all. I'm gonna keep these things up here, and I'll explain why in a second. Um, I'm gonna delete. I'm gonna select everything here. I'm gonna click can collide. Make sure it's off because I don't want collisions. I'm gonna turn masses on as well because I don't want any mass, so the suspension is not weighed down. And um, and then, if we go to the turret, this is my main turret. There is also this, um, the the black part of it. These make up like the main gun. So I'm gonna make this gun. I'm gonna make it non massless. I'm gonna give it custom physical properties. Gonna give it a density of 0 0.1. The reason I do this is because whenever the gun's firing, uh, if you, if the gun is massless, the gun will just go like, disjointing. And it's it's gonna go nonsensically all around, and it's gonna look really weird. So this makes the recoil look realistic, and you know, good. And there's some stuff here left still. I'm gonna clear it out. Um, now let's begin converting this. Um, so we have our turret and gun separated into models already. If you haven't done this, pause the video, do this, um, because this is everything you have to do. Um, yeah. Now, if we just slap this here, so you see, it's not the same width. I'm gonna put it in the same width. So, uh, if you just and you, I mean, everything else is off center, but we're gonna be moving everything anyways, so it's fine. So let's just make it look perfect, perfect and nice. I'm just gonna see before I actually fit it in. See if it actually looks good. And this looks, you know, accurate. Uh, must say though, I might actually have to do some track stuff. Give me a second. Okay, I fixed the tracks, the distances, because um, it looks odd. So everything here, the tracks fitted now. Of course, nothing's actually welded to it yet because we're going to be covering a few things. Fuel tanks first. First of all, um, this comes with two fuel tanks. I think you can add as much as you want. 
I think they all count as one collision anyways. Don't quote me on that though. Um, fuel tanks, I'm just gonna slap them in like the back here somewhere. Because fucking hell. Just a quick intermission. I don't know what my dumbass was thinking here. There's, a cl there's clearly a frontal fuel tank in that. Just, yep. I mean, the reason I selected this tank for conversion is because... Hold on, give me a second. The reason I selected this tank for conversion is because it has an ATGM launcher. I think it's poorly modelled. Yeah, it's really poorly modelled. So I don't think I'm going to actually use it. But I'll put an ATGM launcher here anyways. For demonstrative purposes. Um, here's armour. So armour is... So to explain armor, there is two types of armor. There's plate armor and part armor. So plate armor is like where you, in War Thunder where you have like actual 3D modeled plates and they're separate. But my tank is one big body. So what I do, I use parts, I apply an armor value to them and I just slap them on. Um, like an image, so you can see there's the um, main battle tank with the um, white armor there. That is like all the physical parts that get penetrated by the shells, um, yeah. Um, I, I badly explained this, so I, I just had to clarify. So I'm just gonna make it invisible. Turn can collide off. Make sure it's massless because I don't wanna. I don't wanna weigh down my stuff. Um, next up, uh, we're gonna do. Uh, let's see. Let's see what am I gonna do. Okay, let's do the let's do the actual body now. Then let's just slap the body in. So this is the body. Let's just find my tank uh, here. If I die in hole, control U. It's now in the tank. Let's do the same with the turret. So the turret, the turret goes into main the turret on group. Same with the gun. That's going to go with gun. Um. Sorry, I'm back again. Um, so let's rename the main barrel part, the one that can be damaged, which is this one because this is the most prominent in my opinion. Let's set it to barrel. Let's put the armor on it so it can actually be penetrated. Same with all of these actually, I'm gonna do that. Um, but I'm gonna set these as one. Uh, do, this, do this exactly the same with every other part because Okay, here's the idea. So if you're using the invisible armor plates, like I am, once it penetrates, you want it to go easily through everything else because you want it only to care about your armor values. Um, the problem with Fury is it doesn't like invisible objects and stuff like that, or non-collisions. It will take non-collisions as collisions with the gun, I mean, with the shell, so. That's why I put armor on everything. It's a good. I think it's a good thing to do, anyways, because it makes your tank destructible um, at any point of the process. Okay, we have the barrel. Perfect. We have um, everything else. Um, the, here's the ammo. We're gonna put this because this has a cylindrical ammo ring. I'll just put it where that cylindrical ammo ring is meant to be in. So let's just put this here. That's around. Around the correct place. Actually, I'm going to use a line. If you watched my previous tutorial for this system, you probably know how to use this already. Because you used it for all the fucking wheels. Um, so if we just lower this to the very bottom. But I recommend making this uh, very big because. Surprisingly, the tanks do have a lot of problems when it comes to um, sometimes penetration. It doesn't damage the ammo rack and stuff. Uh, make sure to set an arm armor value. I think this will mean that if you can pen this, then you can damage it. So, but you have to fully correct me on that, um, Ace, and I'll put that in the comments. Um, okay, let's go here. This, this is some more armor. Again, you don't need this. Uh, I'm just going to remove this because I already have some friendly. I recommend putting armor everywhere on your tank. Um, or if you have plates, just putting it on the plates. 
with realistic values I can uh, you can check those in like Warfinder for some decent values I'm not saying Warfinder has perfect values of course because it doesn't fucking fucking Russian bias <laughs> okay now we need more armor here perfect so what we have right now to catch you guys up we have everything here with armor everything here with armor everything here with armor we need to have ammo um, fuel tanks uh, we, we have a turret ring actually as well which we can place let's just paste it like here now the turret ring never actually worked for me when it's damaged it's just something I put on the tanks anyways in case it starts working again but I swear I've never had this fucking thing that worked for me at all but whatever I should make this like this yeah perfect okay nice now let's get some other stuff then um, if we go to base so this is like the base of the tank uh, this is where all the sounds come from and stuff and it's like I just say put it put it like here I'd say just make it middle and just for me skateboarding outside great who the fuck's skateboarding at 10 p.m. actually um, baser so baser means like where the camera's based around so if you just slap this here and if I just I can select it hold on I'm really good at losing things okay now I'm going to increase the height make sure it's above the tank because it's going to look really weird because you you're not going to be able to see anything if you have it like set in, if you have it like here so if, if it's like this you'll actually see stuff horizontal and welder um, horizontal base and horizontal welder those are for your turret these are your actual turret ring so keep that in mind I'm gonna align it with my um, turret ring mesh my actual turret ring mesh um, and that should be fine next and um, next and I think currently like finally no I know not finally but whatever <coughs> we have the vertical base vertical welder this is where the turret goes up or down so if I just slap it here and just let me find it and I'm just gonna move it like back because it's meant to go like slightly like yeah now weapons uh, weapons so we have the main cannon this is where your main cannon shoot from obviously and this is where all the effects pop up from um, inside this we have the scope point don't touch this it's meant to be like this this is what it aims towards so keep that in mind so here you can change all your like particles for firing and blah 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 so if they enable these all you see there's all the firing stuff I'm not gonna bother with this because I am fine with what is given to me um, that is just for like I think actually I don't know what that is for whatever okay coax so this is your machine gun so I'm just gonna stop it here because that's where my machine gun is I mean that's kind of obvious missile my ATGM launcher should be deploying from the side here because it's a fictional tank and it makes no sense but yeah and again check all the effects see if you like it yep I'm fan I'm a good fan of, good fan of it finally is smoke uh, you can have you can have I think as many smokes but I'm only gonna have one uh, I will explain the well so basically you just want to weld it to the horizontal welder so it rotates along the alongside the cannon I mean alongside the can alongside the turret and you see this doesn't actually have a 3d modeled smoke that is a uh, oversight by me let's just say I don't have it unlocked yet but I'm still gonna have it here on the system so I'll just put it here and actually you know what I'm feeling I'm feeling special I'm feeling special what if I just put another one as well so if I just boom there we go so we have two smokes and the direction means it's gonna shoot this way I think um, again these don't have any sound because they're uploaded by um, can't say his name Goulets. so you'll have to get them from War Thunder and I'll explain that in a second uh, no, no, not in a second in a different tutorial now let's move on to um, let's move on to the ammo 
um, ammo. So basically, I uh, got rudely, got rudely, rudely interrupted by my dog. Anyways, this doesn't make sense to me, um, but just keep it like this. Um, you have, yeah, you, you can have as much shells as you want, as far as I know. Um, because I have an ATGM for this, I'm actually gonna have free as my ATG. So free ATGM. I'm gonna turn my smoke into four. In case there's any issues. Um, see, if I go to my game, actually, I'm gonna get my ATGMs here. If I find my my AT tank and then ATGM. I'm just going to copy all these values. <laughs> you can find these values in the BMP2M that comes with the system. Um, but mine uses a custom missile. So you see, you can you see this in the values. This is where you put your custom rounds in. So keep that in mind as well. Um, what's next? What's next? Um, let's see. Um, you have penetration, this is your penetration value. Weight, this is how much weight the shrapnel has, as far as I know. No, 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 no. You set the damage and stuff like that in the ammo, in the, in the ammo here. There's gonna be a different video about ammo in a sec, in like, a different tutorial as well, but. If you go to projectiles, APFSDS. This is, I messed with these values for ages and it did not do anything now don't quote me but drop might mean like how much the penetration drops by distance but i'm not sure again don't quote me on that but it just might be that that's all actually that's not all so i just say set it to like zero or something like five because you don't wanna you don't want it to drastically change your ammo performance that's all mass is how much physical damage is going to go into the um, tank so if you penetrate how much damage and like how much weight the shrapnel has penetration this does not matter um, I messed around with this as well doesn't seem to do much speed um, this is how fast I think the shell goes if I check here I don't know actually I think it is uh, Again, I'm not. I'm, I, I need to make a separate video about um, ammo because it's like really complicated. I have my custom AT shell here, so which is just the toe to actually it's the BMP with just different explosion sounds and stuff. And so I'm going to go back. So you see, you can have the names here. So I'm going to change this to actually. I want this to fire um, hash because I have hash in my kit. I have two pings on this cord. Great. I really want to respond to them when I'm making a video. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna move this so it doesn't actually interrupt anything. Um, I've had it interrupt the rotation of the turret because it has can collide on. Um, driver seat. Well, you know where to put that. You just put it wherever the fucking driver seat should be. Um, pretty obvious. And I shouldn't be under the seat. Good thing about the driver seat, it can be rotated. So. The good thing about it being rotated means you can actually fit a humanoid better instead of his head popping out. Um, I do advise rotating it, seriously. Team, um, if you've not looked at my first tutorial, I covered that you need to have team. Um, I think, that, don't get me wrong, I, mean, I don't know if this is an auto assigning value or a manually assigned value. But I'm not bothered to check because I don't really care. I want it to be like I want friendly fire. Friendly fire is fun. Let's move on. We have breakdown. Breakdown is literally just your explosion effects and stuff. So if you just if you open this up, this is how it looks when my tank explodes. If you want to change that, change the particles, whatever. Here are the sounds. Um, so for example, we have. We have tracks, we have engine start. Uh, you might have noticed, I forgot to do this, so you just put this in the back. Just put this in the back, like, just, just like this. Literally just, and then just, yeah. 
This is meant to be the damage over part for the engine, so make it invisible, obviously. I recommend making all of these invisible, actually. I am firstly back, so let's continue with this. Um, we have hull wheels, blah 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 blah. I'm trying to see if I'm missing something. Um, the rig seems to be fine. ATGM cooldown, ATGM cooldown. Okay, let's cover the settings now. This could be useful. This is how fast the fire rate is per uh, four seconds. Um, my ATGM cooldown, I'm gonna make that 20. This is not meant to be an ATGM tank, so. Uh, coax cooldown, 0 0.2 seconds, that sounds fine to me. Elevation max, this is as much as my gun can go up. I'm gonna set it to 15, I'm being generous. And let's give it some Soviet depression, like four. Um, engine off time, this is how long it takes to turn the engine off. I'm a fan of quick engine turn off, and I'm a fan of quick engine turn on. Fuel usage, this is how much it uses, I think, when you're accelerating, or the engine's on. Not sure. IR jammer, this is where it jams the IR from um, ATGMs, so it makes them go like, woo, wee, wee, woo, 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 and then hit something that's not you. Um, main gun camera shake, if you go here, you can change how much your gun shakes whenever you fire. Which is going to be useful for people who want to get like a specific feeling when firing the gun. Main gun cooldown. This is um, this is the fire rate. So I'm I'm not going to have four. I'm going to have how much does a auto loader do? I'd say eight, eight seconds. Max speed. Max speed. This isn't actually like your top speed. It's just like an arbitrary value. I say this is like fifty kilometers per hour. So I set it to thirty. We'll see what happens in game. Max zoom, this is how much the gun can zoom. Now this is actually meant to be a quite advanced time tank for its time. It's meant to be like a marksman, long range killer. So I'm actually gonna be generous with this. Six. Six. Don't know if that I don't know. Multi crew. <laughs> this way you enable multi crew and select your seats. Obviously I am not gonna have multi crew. Muscle velocity, um this is the I actually don't know what muscle velocity does. I think it's, I mean, obviously it's the firing rate, it, like how powerful the firing is, but that's dependent on the shell, so yeah, something to think about. Possible gears, um, have as much as you want. You can't change reverse gears for whatever reason. You're stuck with two reverse gears. Now correct me if I'm wrong, because I want more than two reverse gears on my tank, but I want to have a ping from Chai then, from somebody. Um, like, recoil force, this is how much force the gun makes. If you had it to be some batshit insane, like 50k, go ahead, I'm not stopping you, nobody is actually. Shell ejection, this is your shell ejecting. <laughs> uh, where's shell ejection attachment? I think it's under main. Because this has a cell shell ejector actually, so. Here you set the size. So. That is length and that's width, I think. But if I just go to base, actually, uh, let me search it. Shell eject. Oh, it's in horizontal welder. Wrong tank there. Let's make this like here. Now, if I just. Now back here, um, to business. Back to business. Okay. Let's see what else have I missed. Smoke launches. Um, I think this is how much you can launch the smoke, like the amount. Not sure. Turret settings. This is your elevation speed. How much the. Uh, Turret goes up. Uh, let's just set it to 46k. Let's see how that goes. <laughs> wheel turn radius. Uh, ignore this. This is if you only have wheeled. And I'm not covering wheeled anytime soon. Uh, so I might actually cover wheeled in the future. Just I don't know how soon I'm going to cover it. I don't have any tanks that have wheels. So, you know.
I gotta get to making some. <laughs> well, continuing with the tutorial. Key binds, this is your R, your C, your um, Y for the engine, fleet lock, whatever. Change this however you want for your personal preference or however you want your gameplay to go. Don't, I, I'm honestly not a person who's bothered to change it. So it turns out, because of my NVIDIA microphone settings, it was unbearable to watch. So I'm just going to cover everything that I wanted to say. First of all, if your um, tracks, if your tracks are really compressed, that's because you have too much weight. So if you if your tracks tra tracks are too com um, compressed, just lower the weight or put more masses parts on the tank. Um, second of all, um, thank uh, thank you for watching the video. Um, like and subscribe. The tank works perfectly fine. Everything works. The cooldowns, blah blah blah. Didn't get around to testing the armor, but I presume that armor does work because it works. It worked for every other tank I have. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Honestly, um, I'm just gonna plug my stuff. I'm just gonna plug my stuff at the end. Why not? Uh, again, tank, tank, tanks. DM me if you want a link to it. It's just a little league I'm hosting with Fury tanks in it. Um, we're gonna have Leopard twos. Um, we're gonna have M1 Abrams. We're gonna have. Um, the funny, which what is the funny? The T T H B V M, and the Challenger too. Um, but mostly it's currently fis um, fictional tanks that you saw. Um, where you saw um, you saw two of them this video. So, which was the, which was the brand new um, T sixty nine, which is the tank I was um, converting, and the T W one hundred ten. Which is the main battle tank that's really tall and large. Because, uh, I need to redo that model honestly because it's a bit absurd. But yeah, again, thanks for watching. Blah 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 blah. See ya.